Today in this 2014 GMC Sierra 2500, we're going to install part number PK12707. This is the Pollock black plastic 7-pole RV style connector for the truck end. Now with this part, we're also going to use part number 459075-1. This is a half inch size loom material that we'll use to cover our wires with. One thing about this truck, we're actually going to use a factory tow package. Now this factory tow package originates up right behind the cab where a bed and a cab meet. Typically it's zip tied out of the way, but we already have it pulled out. So what we're going to do is take our loom material and go ahead and cover up our wires first. We'll go ahead and wrap around a wire and then periodically we'll go ahead and wrap some electrical tape on to help hold it in place. Alright, now we'll go ahead and take this wire and go ahead and route it to the back of a truck by the taillight on the driver's side. Now to do this, we're actually going to take it and push it over the fender well on the inside. We'll push it up and over, and then we'll go ahead and pull it down the other side, where we can get easy access to it. Now we'll go ahead and find a location for our connector we're going to install. Now the location is personal preference, but we're going to install it in this location here. We're going to drill on the inside edge of the bed by the tailgate. Now we'll be using a 2 and 1 8 inch hole saw to make our cut. Once we have our hole drilled out, we'll go ahead and pull up our wires through. Now an extra set of hands can help push it up, or something of a hook on it can pull the wire up as well. Once we have a wire pulled through, we'll go ahead and disassemble the seven pole connector. We'll go ahead and loosen up the screw at the back end where the cable goes in, and then we'll also loosen up the two screws that hold the inside connection part. We'll take the insides out and set them off to the side for now. Now we'll pull back some of our loom material for our wires, and then we'll take our wire harness and push it through the back side of a connector until we have it coming out past the lid. We'll take as much as we can to give us some extra working room. Now we'll go ahead and connect our wires up to the inside part of the socket. We'll go ahead and strip the wire one at a time as we work with it. We'll go ahead and work with the center pin which is labeled yellow. We're going to connect the truck's light green color to that. And that'll be our, for our reverse lights. And then our red wire with the black stripe, which is our 12 volt power supply, will be going to the pin labeled black. We're going to take a brown wire and connect it to the pin labeled green. That'll be your running light circuit. Then we're going to take a green wire and run it to the pin labeled brown. That'll be your right turn signal. Okay, and our blue wire will go to blue, which will be our brake controller output. Our yellow wire will go to the pin labeled red for left turn. Then our white wire will go to white and that'll be for ground. Once all our connections are made, We'll go ahead and take some electrical tape and help protect the connections on the inside. Then we'll go ahead and reassemble our connector. We'll take the inside part and push it back through the center of the socket. Now there's a keyhole on the inside with the line up. Then we can go ahead and push it all the way in and then reinstall the screws in the side. Then we'll go ahead and tighten down the screw at the back of a connector to help seal up the wire going into the back. Now we can take our seven pole connector the whole entire assembly and we'll take it and push it back into the bed of a truck. And then we'll go ahead and attach it to the bed using some sheet metal screws. Okay. Now the use of self-tapping screws can be personal preference. We're using a one inch long self-tapping screw with a 5 16 head. With everything installed we'll go ahead and try out our functions. First we'll go ahead and make sure we have a 12 volt power supply, a vent or brake signal, a vent or left turn signal, a right turn signal, then our brake signal. Okay, looks like everything's working. And with that, that'll finish it for part number PK12707. On our 2014 GMC Sierra 2500.